Well, it's August 30th, 2021. We got some more rain here in Big Bear. It's, it's another just tiny little cloud. Well, not a tiny little cloud, but pretty small. So we're not getting too much precipitation from it. It did, just for a minute, come down pretty damn good. But it was literally for just a minute. That's why I'm not actually recording that part of it. Because it, it was nothing, but it was just... Or in terms of length of time, it's just... It was pretty quick. Oh, man. We're getting closer to winter time, though. I'm excited about that. So I don't feel like I'm wasting anybody's time with these videos. <laughs> but, you know, ultimately, it makes me happy. So I'll always continue to do it. is showing that we have a chance all day for the most part to get a stray shower and thunderstorm and this is one of them yesterday I didn't see anything just like when we got the rain yesterday I, I had no idea it just surprised me that doesn't mean that they didn't forecast it but usually I'm pretty on top of that so this is the way you head towards bear mountain and the golf course <laughs> houses on the golf course that's an Airbnb and get the phone number so I can call and stay at one of those houses on the golf course you only live once you know and I'm tired of not even living all right so this is Bear Mountain you guys this is beautiful look at this place does it get any more pretty than that you guys are like yeah it certainly does go to Mammoth well, you know what? I think they're equally as pretty. Mammoth just gets a ton more snow. Here's the golf course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then this is Bear. Look at how beautiful the sky looks today, though. It just looks so clear and clean. Not clear as in, like, you guys know what I mean. God, and it really smells like cannabis. Like, big time right here. Like, big time. Like there's a farm right next to us or something. Jeez Louise. That was kind of weird. I'm still smelling it a little bit. I don't know what, what that could have been all about, but oh well. Hang on guys, quick sec. Okay. This is the old zoo. Until my new phone gets here. My replacement. All number one. Alright, hang on guys. Alright guys, I don't know what it is, man. But this weather, I'm telling you, it's like so miserable because it's you know rainy and gray and this and that but I love it because I'm I'm so depressed all the time man I shouldn't say so depressed I really shouldn't say it like that but um, I'm definitely more depressed I think than most people but that might be a very selfish statement actually when I really consider it because I don't want anyone else out there thinking oh dude who is this guy man like like what a selfish prick he thinks it's just his world no, 
I don't, I, I, I really don't, but I feel like I go through a lot more, a lot more depression than a lot of people, even though, like, I don't have to, I'm not worrying about my rent and stuff right now, like, things are going okay in that realm, um, but, like, holy thunder, holy thunder, um, yeah, things are going okay in the, well, I mean, I'm, I'm making it, so that's good, but, yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, maybe I don't think other people are depressed often, or as, as much as me, because they might hide it better, I, I, I don't know, that's just, that's the feeling that, that I get, I think I'm probably wrong with that, though, um, I mean, just as, uh, Bill Burr says, we're all fed a, a poop sandwich, in this life, it's just, it's how we deal with it, you know, for me, when I eat that poop sandwich, I'm not gonna let the poop fall outside the damn bread, <laughs> I'm gonna eat it all, you know, I'm gonna make the best of my poop sandwich, and that is what it is, you guys, like, I'll tell you right now, man, I grew up with a lot of people who have a lot of money, and fortunate enough, I got to have a lot of friends who didn't also, so I got to see both sides of, of that spectrum, and I saw happiness and sadness in every single, in, in every single situation, I'll tell you right now, I'd rather be in that situation and have money, than, than, than not, like, yeah, money doesn't make everything you know, perfect. It certainly doesn't. But for the people who say money can't buy happiness, those are the people who have never experienced the, like, the, the power of of money. Like me going down to my dentist in like three weeks, or my my or like a month or so. My new dentist from you guys. He's one of you guys. He asked me if if I if, if I needed something, and he would totally help me out. So that's just super cool because I was mentioning I needed something. Um, but, yeah, you know what, I don't know what my point was, I don't know what my point was, I haven't even smoked anything, and I'm forgetting, give me a second to remember, way too young for this to happen, you guys, <laughs> way too young for this to happen, but yeah, I go off on like numerous different tangents, that's why I end up kind of forgetting one of the things I'm talking about, and it makes it seem like it wasn't important, but for me it was important, because there was a good message to it, everything I, I talk about, like, uh, I'm being honest with you guys and not worried about judgment too much and because I I know you guys pretty well by now and it's pretty amazing how you guys treat me but yeah what the hell was my point give me give me a second to just drive around a minute and figure it out we're, we're gonna drive down evergreen right here with the, this street's kind of like right right behind my house so my house is this little tiny house and there's these freaking mansions. Ah, tiny house and mansion. That brought back the conversation. Okay, so what I was trying to say is that I grew up with, well, okay, where I, where I grew up, if you go on to Zillow, it's crazy. My house is worth $12.5 million. It's unbelievable. And my dad bought it for like $300,000 in the mid 70s. Unbelievable. It's right on the water in, in Newport Beach with like a huge dock slip and two small, small ones on either slide, side. Um, in our backyard and stuff. It's a, a pretty spectacular place, but my whole point is that I'd rather be suffering emotionally with with money because uh, even though for like for me shopping takes away my depression depression just like drugs do. Just it's the exact same thing, and so that's why it's not good. It's a temporary solution for a long term problem, but for me. This, this camera sucks, guys. My phone is so hot right now. Just from this like five minutes of video, I can't believe it. Thank goodness I ordered the other phone. Thank goodness I've been responsible for the past couple years and like paid every credit card payment, never missed one, not late, never like paid just my minimum, paid them. So like, like uh, that's why I, I was able to get a credit card that had enough on it so I could get this damn other replacement phone because they charge you the whole $1,600 for the damn thing. And then they refund you 1500 of it, which is pretty cool. And here we go again, phone's doing it again, hang on. All right, sorry about that. 
So back to my, gosh, my points are so all over the place right now. Feels like going back and forth, but <clears throat> about like the money part. Money can't buy you happiness. You know what? Like going down to my dentist and getting all these crowns, or like probably two crowns, and I think I feel like an area where I might need a filling, but that's about it. I'll be able to take care of that without worries. If if, if my pet gets sick. I have plenty of credit cards sitting around with plenty of money to where I can take care of him. Um, that's that's happiness for me. Um, being able to travel and live life, that's happiness for me. Um, and unfortunately, these things take money. Uh, obviously, you can you know do a different form of traveling, and it won't it won't really cost you anything. You know, if you're just walking around, but. Um, and I'm not trying to sound pompous about that. But, I mean, the only people I've ever heard say money can't buy happiness are the people who've never had any money. And they just sell themselves short. They become the victims. Like saying, oh, it's so... Oh, only bad people have money. And, like, all they're trying to do is just subconsciously get themselves in a mental state to where they think it's bad so they... So they're a victim and they don't have to work hard to try to make a lot of money because it's a bad thing. So it's just a total cop out. It just gives you a, a total cop out because if it, you know, if, if you're a victim, what does that mean? Like, 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 like that means like, like <laughs> that you need to be protected. So it's unfortunate that attitude and funny enough, that's how my attitude was too, because I didn't put in a lot in my schooling as a youngster and um, and my attitude later on became like that exact same thing rich 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 people rich people are bad rich people are bad and uh, um, you know I, I, I've just I, I've just never understood that because like I've met happy people in every area of life and uh, the fact that I was giving myself these BS excuses to be a failure. I mean, dude, I was constantly talking smack on the wealthy, like, for so long. And I grew up with my mom and dad saying, hey, Nicholas, if you work hard, you get a great education, and you never give up, you can have this house on the corner right here. You can, you can have a house just like that, son. And nowadays, it's like people drive by the, the wealthy person's house, and because they're so derelict, they teach their kids that being wealthy is bad. Like, oh, you don't want to be like that person. They're horrible, selfish people. And uh, like, it's it's it really it really bothers me because, dude, there's horrible, selfish people who are poor, and there's horrible, selfish people who are rich. There's angry people who are rich. There's angry people who are poor. There's happy people who are poor. There's happy people who are rich. Once again, it goes back to that Bill Burr thing. We're all served a, a poop sandwich. It's just all how you deal with it. No one gets out of this life with like a platinum chain. Like we all are given a shit sandwich. And my camera is a poop sandwich too. Huge lightning bolt. And I had to fix the camera. Hang on. It was right here. Oh my gosh. That was huge, guys. Like the lightning bolt like blinded me. It was insane. But yeah, gosh, I'm so rambling today, you guys. And I know this point will get across. Please just bear with me. I'm, I mean, I'm really trying here. <laughs> it's just I'm going off on so many different tangents. Yeah, work hard. <clears throat> Try to do the best you can in life. Unfortunately, it it takes money in life. It really um, to really do those extra things and and uh, and the things that I find enjoyable might not be for everybody so if the shoe doesn't fit don't wear it but if the shoe fits please do because i'm just trying to help I'm trying to share my experience strength and hope with all of you guys what i've been through because my experiences they can maybe help you guys man i've been through a lot been through a lot and i've overcome a lot and if i had to choose i want to be filthy rich man i'm not gonna let this negative attitude everywhere about wealthy people make me like like not work hard and 
and not create for my family. Like there's just, I, I, I'm just not that type of person who will use those type of justification or it's not a justification. It's just a BS rationalization to not work, which is that everybody's horrible that has money. I mean, it's, it's, it's not the case. Your eyes peeled up here. I'm hoping we get some An another big lightning bolt because that was gnarly. And you know what? Yeah, this is a long video, and that's cool though. We're gonna go back through here through Moon Ridge now again because yeah, we're getting a good amount of uh, rain over here. that debacle last night, Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. Man, I, I, I didn't pay for it because I wouldn't, but I saw the highlights and stuff and I, I mean, looked like Tyron won, but still, the fact that it even went the distance is just, I mean, that's what the rules should have been. If Jake Paul gets out of the second round with, with, without getting his head knocked off his shoulders, then the fight should have been over because Tyron's that good. He's a good striker, but I didn't consider the fact that if he can't fake other aspects of his game to set up his strikes, then you know what? Like, <laughs> if it's straight up box, like I was thinking, yeah, but he's been boxing for so much longer than Jake Paul. Yeah, not just as a boxer, but he's been boxing for so much longer. He's been a world champion, but I didn't consider, um, and I didn't think about until just as soon as I woke up that, shoot, you know what? He probably, it's it probably had a huge effect that he couldn't set up his other striking. Uh, therefore, he couldn't have Jake off of uh, um, balance at all. So pretty crazy, guys. Pretty crazy. I would have lost a ton of money. I would have. Oh, shoot. I forgot to go get that phone number to that to that Airbnb. Okay, so we're going to go over here and do that right now. Look at how cool the golf course looks. That is just awesome, man. That's just awesome. Hey, okay, keep your eyes peeled, folks. I know we just did this drive, but it's really boring now. Come on. I don't want to have the windshield wipers on too fast because that's when the damn camera starts screwing up. But I've noticed I have the air conditioning on. It helps. But I'm freezing. Oh, wow, it just started flooding over here, man. This is gonna give us a good view of this storm. When, when, like once we get back up here to Bear. Sorry for doing this kind of this uh, this redundant little drive here, but it's not that redundant because the rain's a lot heavier this time. We're gonna turn into the golf course. Oh yeah, dude! It is so cold in my car. Absolutely crazy. Look at this poor guy. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, yeah. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. I hit that. Our teammate hit that lady in the back with a golf ball a couple days ago. She has the biggest welt. The biggest welt. But he... She was standing on the tee box where there's a huge fence. And my buddy, he was, he was just playing normal golf. And the ball, like, must have had something on it because it really started falling quickly as soon as it, like, got to that fence. Holy crap. Right of the green. Uh, it, like, dove straight down and smacked her. And 
she showed us the welt right then and there and then I saw her the next day. It like it was one of the blackest welts I've ever seen. I felt so bad. But my my friend bought her drinks, whatever whatever she wanted. I I offered as well. She happens to be the female club champion here. <laughs> Can you believe that? I feel so bad. But yeah, anyway. We're uh we're getting lit up right now. That's a pretty heavy rain. Holy crap. Look at this. You know what? We never drive through small neighborhoods. This is that that neighborhood that has little condos and stuff right on the damn golf course. So we're just gonna drive through here. This is hole number nine, right there. Can't see it though. Oh damn camera, hang on. This little neighborhood has a, a tennis court too. And a little gym and stuff. But right out here in front of this is the golf course. These places are right on the golf course, lucky dogs. I love it. I love it. Okay, and we can't can't get out here. That's right. I always forget that. Yeah. Go around here. Hang on a second. Holy crap, you guys! This is nuts. I'm sorry, it's so horrible this damn view. Hang on. Look at this running down the street. Yeah. I'll come back later and get one of these phone numbers. Cause there's a lot of houses right here that have Airbnb and signs on them. Like that one. Really sorry about the camera, you guys. <laughs> it's really coming down, man. I know you can't see it too well with all this rain. How cool is this? Keep your eyes right there. There's going to be some lightning. There really will be, I promise. And then when we do, I'll shut up so we can hear the thunder. Oh, it's so cool in here. Oh my gosh. We're going to get some lightning to the left for sure. For sure, you guys. Watch this. As soon as we turn left, let's see how dark it is to the left. You're going to see this. Just keep on looking that way. There's going to be lightning, I promise. I'm going to keep the camera right here. And hopefully we can find some lightning. And as long as we pay attention to the cars in front of us so we don't rear end anybody, we will find some lightning. over here we're gonna shoot we're gonna have to go that way shoot shoot you like darn all right come on 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 now touch me babe can't you see that i am not afraid what was that promise that she made why don't you know what she said what was the promise that you made? I 
want the snow fall, will it ever stop the rain? I want it to snow so we can have some more fun until it's done. Being me, you guys. Just being me. Um, just for really good advice, you guys, check this out. You can mute the video. <laughs> Seriously, if it's if it's too horrible listening to me yap this whole time, instead of leaving me a mean comment, which 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 does hurt my feelings, you know, like like I don't really take stock in it much much anymore because I've been doing this for seven years now, so I get a lot of bad comments. But um, yeah, like like you know, you know. Just remember that everybody else out there has a life just as important and just as gnarly as you. And we're all going through the same poop sandwich of life. So just be a little bit nicer, that's all. You know? That's all I'm asking. And I can't stop thinking about one of our friends, you guys. He's the one whose sister tragically perished a couple weeks ago being hit by a damn truck she was hit by a car um I'm dude like I, I just can't imagine what that family is going through and the parents I mean come on you guys you're not supposed to bury your children you're not supposed to bury your children absolutely devastating I just, I just wish life didn't have these harsh setbacks sometimes. Because, as we've been talking about, life's already hard enough, you guys. But to be in a situation like that is just not cool. Yeah. We're gonna make a new turn right here, but we're just gonna take a look at what's going on here at Summit. Yeah, turn off the windshield wipers for a second. Damn it. Okay. Nothing much going on there. Thank you for visiting Snow Summit. Make time for nine at Bear Mountain. That's right. I'm telling you, man. I see them advertising that golf course a lot, which leads me to believe that they have a hard time. Like, uh, filling the tee times up. But that's surprising because I have the hardest time finding tee times there. I really do. Sorry about this again, you guys. It's a lot to do with this camera, why it's not super clear in between windshield strokes, windshield wiper strokes. Or maybe if I do this, hold on, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me switch this. Oh, lightning. Listen. Exactly where I told you guys it would be on the left. It's exactly right there. Obviously, I'm, I'm probably not going to catch another one just staring right here, right where it just came from, but that's okay. Just hang tight, guys. Give me a second. All right. So I had to kind of. We got to start heading back towards home and get this long video uploaded. Go handle some things. Some thang, thang, thangs. It's gonna be handled. Then I gotta go down to Orange County. So I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do today. I can't wait until I get my completed dentist appointment done. Just uh, everything done. That's gonna be great. I don't know what I'm going in for sooner. Obviously, I'm sure for like x rays and oh. Hopefully to get like a cleaning and stuff done first, but I'm really 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 grateful for you guys man This is one of you guys dude. You guys are the dentist. You guys are helping me out That is so awesome like that is so awesome and what I mean by helping me out is Offered to provide me services So yeah, I'm super 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 stoked if any of you ever offered to like do things for like uh, to do 
your profession for free, I would not accept it. I wouldn't. That's just, that's just not who I am. And for my friends, I never offer my friends less than what they're worth. If, like, uh, my friend Dave owns Knight's Auto up here. And, like, uh, you know, if he charges $80 for, for a rotation and, like, uh, a, a, a synthetic oil change, that's what I'm going to pay. Because why would I offer my friend less? Like, I, I should pay him more because he's worth it. When I, when I offer them less, it feels like I'm saying that your, your work is not worth it or valued enough. So anyway, love you guys. We're going to shut this down right here in this little beautiful little neighborhood here.